up you guys welcome back to the channel in today's video i want to show you guys some runs that we're doing um currently i do have two pals back there they're going down to kansas and then tomorrow after i'm dropping that off i just have one big pallet going up to massachusetts so if you guys want to stick along let's get right into the video so let's hop out and show you guys what we're hauling um, I did just get my oil change done, as you guys saw. So, in here are these two big wooden crates. I have them strapped around. One of them is 220 pounds, the other one is 318. Give you guys a quick view of the van. Also, since last time I did get a light bar, works wonders when you're driving on the back roads. And we're almost ready to go. All right, so for this part of the video, I did want to include some tips and tricks for those of you that are looking to start expediting. First off, tip number one is always do your research before jumping into this. I suggest checking out forums on expediting as well as joining Facebook groups as there are plenty of those. And always remember before asking a question, there's probably someone that's already asked that question, so do use that search button. Moving on to tip number two, it would have to be don't take a load with a delivery on a Saturday or Sunday. Most of the warehouses and also dispatch companies are closed on Saturday and Sundays. I ran into that problem when I first started. One of my very first loads, I took a run out of Texas going to the middle of Louisiana, some small town, and had no luck reaching dispatch or any warehouse for that reason. So if it is a run with a weekend drop off, I would try to say keep it close to home or somewhere that you can go sightseeing and then wait till Monday comes around and hit the road again. Moving on to tip number three, and this one is a very common tip. Everyone suggests the longest and tallest van. And it is true as if I did have a shorter van, it would keep me from finding loads in hard places. For example, my van is 14 feet in length and six feet tall. It does fit three pallets with my bed down. And with the bed lifted up, I could fit four standard pallets. So if that van that you find fits your budget and it does so happen to be the longest and the tallest, you should be golden as the load options for you are much more than the other guys. Tip number four would be always look for their shipping and receiving door. When I first started, I would drive up to the front main office and 90% of the time they'll send you back to shipping and receiving, which is usually behind the warehouse. Tip number five is going to be bidding on loads under 100 miles. The minimum and starting point should be 250. You guys have to keep in mind some of these warehouses do take an hour or sometimes even more to load you up. For example, rates average around 90 cents to $1.50 sometimes. So if you are bidding on a load under 100 miles, try to use this screenshot as an example and don't use the average rates per mile. And on the topic of rates, that brings us to tip number six, which is learn your cost per mile. There are a few websites as well as videos on YouTube how to calculate that. Basically taking your monthly average of miles you run and subtracting your expenses, which will give you a better idea for when it comes to bidding on loads. And it's very helpful so that way you do stay in profit and don't cut even or actually go in negative. And so lastly, tip number seven is that if you guys do over the road and you are by yourself, it does get lonely. So I would suggest finding a hobby or something to do in the evenings or while you wait for available loads. I'm fortunate enough to have my wife with me at all times, so we do go to the gym and we do go sightseeing. Also on the side note, I am thinking of getting some electric scooters. Just something to cruise around and explore the cities. So if you guys do have any suggestions for electric scooters, please do leave them in the comments below. And yeah, just find something to stay motivated and keep going. So it's the next day. Um, it is currently showing I'm arriving at 7.30 and my drop is at 8. So 
we should be good to go. So I didn't get a chance to film us getting loaded, but as you guys can see, we're sitting pretty low. We're carrying one pallet, it's about 2,000 pounds. So I did put a moving blanket on it and strapped it all around. Just like that, we are unloaded. And actually right before arriving to the drop-off, I did book another run we're picking up in New York and running all the way down to Denver, Colorado. Arrived at the pickup location for our third load. This is what, third day, fourth? And this is the one going to Colorado. It was 95 degrees about half hour ago and now out of nowhere just started raining. So we're gonna try and fit this in here. I did fold up the bed, put the mattress on the side temporarily and we'll see how this fits in here. So it's a bit more sunny out now and I think this is where I'll end the video Currently out of New York rest area from here. We're gonna head on now to Colorado for our drop and It'll make it five days of over the road It's been a good week. I hope it was an informative video for some of you guys Back to the road and I'll catch you guys in the next one